Hi everybody, it is Dina Colada again, and I'm here to show you how to set up your Amazon Seller Central account so you can actually sell goods and services on Amazon. Um, as you might have seen in my other video, I used to be an Amazon seller and I let my account go and Amazon wouldn't allow me to sign up using the same email address. So my workaround solution for that was I just had to come up with a new email address for Gmail and then I created a password. So I'm gonna go in here and sign up. I'm gonna keep myself signed in. And this is the basic process. Oh no, <laughs> here we go again. Uh, it wasn't letting me do it again. So that's funky. Um, let's see, I'm gonna try it again. Let's make sure we have our business contact info, mobile telephone number, credit card, identity details. My business is in the United States. Okay, when I was looking through this yesterday, one of the things I was a little unsure about was the business type. So this might be a question you have too. A state-owned business, a publicly listed business, a privately owned business, a charity, or no, I'm an individual. So what am I gonna pick? I actually have an LLC called Dina Colada Enterprises, and it's an umbrella for all my businesses. Um, and I looked up publicly listed businesses, and that means you're selling stocks, you have an IPO, you're on the stock market, that's publicly listed. So a lot of you probably aren't a publicly listed business. Privately owned business could be a corporation, an LLC. Um, an individual would be considered a sole proprietor. So that's just a single person. You don't have a corporate entity to run by. You could run by your name or something like that. So I'm gonna pick a privately owned business because my business is not publicly traded. I'm not that big yet. So I'm gonna click on privately owned business. Now, Amazon also says if you picked your business as a privately owned business, it's controlled and operated by private individuals like myself. The business seller is registered in the context of a commercial or professional activity. So if you don't have the right drop down chosen, then that could affect your account status. And you want to make this happen as soon as possible so you can actually get your products on Amazon and sell them. So I'm going to pick um, Dina Colada Enterprises, LLC is my business name. So I click Agree and Continue. It's going to load a little bit here. Let's see what happens. Hopefully it lets me go through this time. Oh, okay, it's loading here. So after you come to this page, you want to put in all of your business details, your business address. And then you're also going to need to receive a PIN from Amazon. So I'm going to put SMS, type in my phone number, and then my English, I speak English, so I'll leave that there. Send SMS. So Amazon's going to send me a PIN number. And I'm going to add that into the box here. It's pretty simple stuff, right? Anybody can become an Amazon seller. You need to have a phone. Having a business entity is a great idea. Okay, so I checked my business information. Oh, and I didn't have the really long zip code in, so it's giving me the suggested address. So I want to do that. It's 26501-6635. I didn't even know that was my full zip code. But I guess it is because Amazon knows everything, right? They know what you're buying, which is good for our, the sellers because you can look and see what people are interested in buying and then you can sell it. Okay, marketplace specific details. Global selling promotion. Pay a monthly fee of $39.99 US dollars to access all marketplaces for a promotional period of six months. Um, I can pick North America or Japan. I'm just 
going to click North America because I don't want to incur, I don't want to have overly exaggerated shipping costs. I know North American costs will be within my range. People aren't going to have a big uh, complaint about shipping costs in the States. But if I send something to Japan, it could cost a lot more money. So I click next. Ooh, and then I'm going to have to put in my credit card number. Oh, here I go, not being totally ready because I don't really know what's going to be in the windows coming up. So if you're following along, you can do the same thing, right? Grab your credit card. I have so many different cards because I get perks for buying certain things in certain places like gas or grocery stores. I try to maximize my passive income streams as much as possible. Okay. Oh, so all Chrome has already, already knows all of my credit card info. So I just need to put in the three digit code on the back and we're going to confirm the card here. And then I need to put my name on it. My address, verify that looks good. Click next. I'm on my way to becoming an Amazon seller again. Oh, oh so my store name. I wasn't sure what I was going to pick for this, but I'm actually thinking about getting my name trademarked and I use that my name in different businesses. Do I have UPC codes on all my products? Not at this point. I plan on doing print on demand products. Are you the manufacturer or brand owner or agent or representative of the brand for any of the products you want to sell on Amazon? So, it says, are you the manufacturer or brand owner? I'm not the manufacturer because I'm using Printful or other suppliers to send my product, to create and ship my products. But I am, however, the brand owner. So I'm going to click yes. Do I own a government registered trademark for the branded products you want to sell on Amazon? Not yet, but I plan on that. So for now, I'm going to pick no. I just started looking into the trademark registration process. So hopefully that will be happening in the next couple months. So I'm going to just wait for this to load and oh, okay. So I can put in my passport or my driver's license. I already know my driver's license number by heart, which is kind of nerdy, right? My birthday, oops, I did that wrong. Let's see if that did it right. Hmm. That did not work. Yeah, usually I put the month first, the day second, but in Amazon you need to put your birthday in the first area, your birth month in the second section, and then the year you were born. Oh, wait, no, I'm completely wrong on this. This is as asking for my driver's license expiration date, not my birthday, duh. All right, um, expiration 09, 08, 2023. Oh, I'm having problems here. Oh, I guess I have to erase everything first. A09, 08, 2023. Let's see. Oh, okay. So that's funky, right? So again, I have to reverse the day and the month to make it the day is... That's what I get from not paying attention. Oh my gosh, I'm putting my birthday in again. I'm just so used to it, I'm on robot mode. Uh, I'm not from United Arab. Let's see. I'm from the United States, put that in. Put in my name. 
And aha, here we go. Now on to my date of birth, the appropriate place for these numbers. So I put my business address, click submit, wait for this to load, and then we will be on our way. I am the point of contact. It has my birthday correct, my driver's license correct. Oh, and now I have to upload pictures of my license. So that's going to take me a minute. I'm going to be right back. Okay, I've got my driver's license back and front side sent to my computer. So now I have to upload what I just put into my downloads. And I don't, I don't see it. Let's see. 0695 is the number. Eureka, I found it. Okay, so now we're uploading the front side of my driver's license. Now I have to type in the full name here to get it to, to get my computer to find it. 0696. Ha, ah, there's the back side of my license. And then after that part is finished. We have to let this load again. Then we need to put in a bank statement account. So you're going to have to have your bank statement or other document. Let's see what kind of document. You can either have a credit card statement or your bank account statement. I decided to use my bank account statement to upload to Amazon because I need to do my paperwork anyway. So I'm going through, I'm redacting all my account numbers and all of the monetary values on the paper. My bank statement is six pages long. So when you're finished, your account, your, your bank statement is gonna look something like this. Now you wanna double check it because I went through all six pages and I found my account number listed, let's see, on page five, 11 times. On six pages. I don't know why they need to do that, but they do. And then I double checked it and then I found two more account numbers in really small print right here. And I just started working for a cybersecurity client, writing copy, edit, doing copy editing for them. So security is on the top of my mind right now. So make sure you do that. Okay, I redacted um, six pages of my bank statement, and then I found out I think I really only need to add the first page to the credit card statement upload. So I have all this information here, so now I'm going to submit that, and we'll wait for that to process. And one step closer to selling on Amazon. I'm pretty excited about this. Um, it's saying thank you for sharing your information and it's still processing, it can take up to one minute. I'm not gonna to torture you guys with watching that circle spin. Okay, my uploads have finally been sent through to Amazon and it says they've received my information and they're gonna reach out to me within two business days. I can't wait to have you guys follow me along and if you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button and like this video and leave in the comments if you have signed up on Amazon yet. I want to hear your experience and if this video has helped you on your journey.